What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Power. <laughs> you see the power there? <laughs> power XL 10 quart air fryer oven. And today, for you guys, since I cooked on this, what, 16 times on camera, and overall, probably 28 times, I'm gonna take a look at cleaning it out. It shouldn't even be that dirty. But I want to go over with you guys how I clean it out and what I think about how um, the cleanup is on this machine. You inside my oven, and that's salt from the other day when I made the uh, homemade tortilla chips. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. But this is these are the sides. A little bad, but I think we can get that out. Now you're looking at over 25 cooks. Now I've cooked a whole pack of bacon, uh, a rotisserie chicken, um, so many different things. Burgers. Let's look up top. Oh, that looks perfect. Now that's cool. That, that doesn't even need any cleaning. The thing I clean on a regular basis is this drip tray right here. I clean this about almost every time. And then I clean, um, I wipe down the inner glass with the greaser and then like, you know, glass plus on the outside. I do that like probably once every four cooks. I didn't even clean that part on the bottom. I've not, I think I, I might have wiped that down once, but you see there, it, it, it held up pretty good. I'm gonna clean this Doug style. Shout out to the Dollar Tree. I got my Dollar Tree mixing bowl. I got this awesome degreaser. If you have grease lightning, that's that works fine just as well. Or you can use some Dawn. I've Dawn Ultra. So what I'm gonna do is put some, um, you know, a little hotter than warm water in this mixing bowl. And I'm going to, you could either use Dawn or a little bit of uh, some degreaser, doesn't matter. But I'm gonna go with the degreaser, but either one is just fine. So I got my warm water with degreaser in there, and like I said, Dawn or any good uh, dish detergent would be fine. So I have a cloth, just a regular cloth. I'm just gonna mix it around. Like I said, this is a little hotter than warm. I'll just rinse it out like that and we're ready to start cleaning. Unless, since we can, let's go ahead and take off the door. Now guys, I put it on its side so I can get at it much easier. So I'm going to put it on the other side once I get this side done. And at this point, I mean off camera, I wouldn't unplug it, but for safety, definitely, I would say unplug it just because just you never know. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's doing a backspin, y'all. Let's unplug it. It's all right. So with my cloth, I'm just going to go in and start wiping. And because it's on an angle like this, I feel I can get into, the, get into it more, you know? And I like to use a white cloth so I could get the satisfaction of seeing how much dirt is coming off of this thing. That might not be satisfaction to you, but so yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep cleaning, taking my time. All right, I just flipped it on the other side. It's time to get this side. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, cool. So I'm done there. Now, I noticed that there are screws on this top grill piece that we can take this piece off if we wanted to and take it off. For me, it's not that serious. Um, it's not the, it, it's barely dirty. Like you'd have to shine. Like if the light's not on there, you can't even see the dirt on this grill, but I do see some, I am going to take my, um, cloth, um, you know, dip it into the, um, warm water and, um, you know, give it a run through and see if that makes a difference. But for me, I don't think it's that serious for me to take it off, but good to know you can take it off if need be, but nobody's looking up there anyway, right? <laughs> They're looking in this area. 
Yeah, it's not making much of a difference, but I would imagine if you wanted to take this off and soak it or throw it in your dishwasher, it'll get it out good, nice and easy. All right, next up is the door. How do I normally clean my door? For the inside of the door, again, I would spray some degreaser because you're going to usually have grease splattering from meat, bacon, or whatever, right? So... Your normal glass cleaner will clean it, but if there's grease stuck on there, I don't think it's going to do a job, good, good job getting that out. So that's why I use degreaser. On the front side, I would just use glass cleaner for that part. Any, any glass cleaner. It doesn't have to be Windex. Or just, just wipe it down with some hot water, um, some warm water and a cloth. Whatever, it's all good. But some of you are going to be tempted to bring this to your sink and give it a, a run through and what you're going to find is that unfortunately water will get trapped in the middle because these are two hard plastic pieces so water can actually get trapped in the middle and you can't really get there so eventually and I think just out of regular use just particles like crumbs and stuff is going to get stuck in there we're going to poke our chest out today and open this up and see what happens it's got the screws there and um because mine needs a, a a cleaning inside so i'm willing to open it up today and, and see what it's like take one for the team let's do that before i do that before i forget to say it so when you're cleaning this don't have a lot of liquid on your cloth just clean it because again the water can seep through in here and get caught in between so just be very calculated on your clean on both sides but if it gets in the middle it will dry up and it'll be fine but if you want your door to be see-through then I would just be cautious all right finally I got all the screws out so let's let's open this up all right, you grab the sides and then you push. Ew. That is nasty. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. So how does this work here? Okay, so, oh, wow. My thing is, why does it have to be two of these? Why can't it just be one? There's a reason for that, but I, I don't know why. Huh. So you got this thing here that gets really nasty. I'm gonna clean that good. Yuck. And this one. But look, 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 look at that. That's nasty. You wouldn't be able to get to that. Cool. Alright, now that I washed it off, I'm going to hit it with some Windex on both sides, glass cleaner, any glass cleaner will do. And just wipe it down and put it aside. And I, woo, this is strong, and then I'll clean the rest of the stuff. Cool too. This piece comes right out as well, so I'm going to dry it. But I didn't know that, that comes out too. So I put it back in like that. Alright guys, it's time to put this thing back together. I put some gloves on so I don't get any fingerprints on this. Because, you know, what a bummer that would be. Put all this back together and have like fingerprints all over the glass. <laughs> I, I'm sure that had happened to somebody. But anyway, you see that little bump in the glass right there? You could tell that's the top. So that's how we know. That's the only thing like really separating it. Push it in. Okay. Make sure you press it in real good. Especially on these sides. Okay. Gotta put this glass thingy in there. Snap that in place. Come on. Alright. 
get why this is like super hard to be like crystal clear see through because there's so many daggone windows to be cleaned and this middle window you can't even get to unless you take it apart so if that gets foggy or a crumb hits it I mean you, you just hope that it goes away <laughs> hasn't been that bad but just just a observation <laughs> alright we're ready to snap this piece right back on and screw everything back in line everything up wait let me get it right line them up and then press down till you hear a click you didn't hear it but I did it off camera now I'm ready to put in my screws and we'll be done with the door completely before I put my screws in if I were you I would just take a look at it and make sure it's to your liking because you know once you put them screws in if it's not then I guess you'll be screwed all right that was a bad joke I, I had to I couldn't help myself <laughs> So this is the hard part, the inside, we cleaned it out. I'd say I cleaned it out pretty good. Sides are clean. Let's take a look at it. Not bad at all. And that was easy. Now disclosure, do not, you see that light there? A lot of you are gonna be tempted to use like some Windex to clean that. Nope, use the same degreaser, same um, dish detergent to wipe over that. Do not put any type of glass cleaner inside this machine. Please don't do it. You'll mess up the, uh, the finish. Don't do it. All right, let's get our door back on. Boom. All right, so let's talk about these racks. These are very, surprisingly, these are very easy to clean. That was one of my concerns in buying this oven. I was like, those racks look like it's just going to be a nightmare. And it's really not. I'm always going to go dishwasher first. Not even a full cycle. A one hour cycle is all you need to clean the worst of dirt of these racks. If you don't want to put in a dishwasher, some of the stuff you could just warm, just run water and just take a sponge and just wipe away. If there's stuff stuck on it, you can soak it in your sink. Some soapy water. Let that sit for at least five minutes to an hour and wipe away. So either one of those ways is cleans is perfect. It, it's, it's so simple. Easy peasy. And like I said, I've cooked 20 something times, maybe even 30 times. And look at my racks. They're... And I made ninety eight percent of the time I put it in the dishwasher. And like I said earlier, this is the this is the only thing that I would clean like probably almost every time. Because if there's any type of grease that falls on here, I just wait. You know, maybe an hour, two hours, three hours. Um, spray some degreaser on it and then just wipe it away in the sink. Um, or pour if it's a lot of grease, I'll pour it out. You know, discard it and then degrease and then wipe away. So this piece right here is probably every other every other cook I clean just to maintain it. But I think it can take a beating, but no one wants to sit there and be scrubbing caked on grease. That's that could be avoided. But it even if you did do that, I believe you can clean it to this point, but it's just so easy to maintain that I just clean it every other cook. Let's get these things back in here and then we'll just clean the outside and be done. All right, that's in there. All right, that's ready for the next cook. Let's close that up. We're going to unplug it. We'll just clean the outside and be done. And let's talk about this real quick, guys. Let's just be honest. You guys with this QVC, at least the QVC version, I don't know about, like I said, I haven't had any other versions, but your third or fourth cook you're going to see the power excel <laughs> um writing just disappearing so that just happens it's all good oh well i'm using the same cloth that i used earlier i just dipped it back in my degreaser and squeezed all the water out and i'm just going to wipe down i like to do this last because this is a fingerprint magnet and i'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of fingerprint marks as you're cleaning the other you know parts <laughs> all right 
This is what we're looking like, guys. Let's take a look at the inside again. It's just so easy, guys. Now, I know that there are many versions to this oven by PowerXL, but again, I have the QVC version, and that's the one that I want, the only one I wanted to get, because it has 1,700 watts. It came with all those accessories, including that, um, that egg pan thingy. It, that's exclusive to the QVC one. And it came with four racks. And the uh, um, rotisserie spit thingy. So I had to get it. And it was 100 bucks with five flex pays. So that's why I bought this machine. I don't know why you bought yours. So I can only speak to this machine on how easy it cleans. Maybe your machine that looks like this doesn't clean that easy because you didn't get it from QVC. Because this version came out, I would assume, a couple months ago. So I know there's versions of this years old, two, three years old. So I'm just, I, I just disclosure, I'm only talking about the QVC because that's the only one I had. I know thousands of people bought this recently and another thousand more will buy it. So I, I guess it's really for those people more or less. So yeah, of course, the people are still on the fence thinking of getting it. Cleanup is no big deal. Anywho, I hope this video was helpful for those that have this machine or thinking about getting this machine or just curious overall. I just want to do a cleaning for you um, because I've used this over 20 times and I think now is the time to really discuss how easy or how not easy this is to clean. And for the most part, this is simple to clean. This is as easy as it's going to get. All you need to really to clean this machine, you don't even need any chemicals. If you're the type of person that likes to wipe down your machine every other time or every three times, you just need a cloth and warm water. You don't need no detergent or no degrease or anything. You wipe it down, it'll wipe off nice and easy. So I can't be any more pleased with how easy this is to clean and I recommend this machine if you're into this style of oven this would be the one to get if you ask me because of the accessories, the, easy, the ease of it to be clean, the wattage, and um, because I have it. That's why you should get it. <laughs> anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. And we out.